Hey guys, the next Datacron that we're going to be going for is a plus 10 to all stats Datacron. This one is located on the Republic fleet. Uh, you Imperials have your own version. It's on the Imperial fleet, obviously. Um, you can actually follow along. It's pretty much the same. There are a few minor differences like the names of places and stuff like that, but overall it's pretty much the same. Um, so for this video, we're just going to be setting everything up. So we need to get the MGGS, which is a uh, grappling gun essentially that you can get on Alderaan a red crystal that we're going to get on Karelia, so you need to be level 50 to get that one. Um, and then a blue crystal that we'll get right here on the Republic fleet. Uh, so at the end of this video we're going to be ending pretty much where I'm standing right now. Uh, and this is where you're going to need to be at the start of the next video. So make sure you remember how to get there because I'm not going to go over it in the next video. Uh, so first off let's go get the MGGS. Um, so we're going to be starting here at the Ward Post Lourdes in uh, King's Pass section of Alderaan. So we're right here and we're going to follow this path um, up just basically straight up but sticking to the left. So uh, all these offshoots we're going to ignore. Um, so we're going to travel on this path here and it's going to go up and actually into the other zone right next to us. Um, but you'll stay on the path and it's, it's basically right off of the map. Uh, so let's head up. Okay, so now we come to our first uh, split in the path, so we're going to just stick to the left um, the whole time. So you're left and you're just going to ignore all this side path and stay to the left. So you'll just turn left here. Okay, and once you get to this split, you're still going to stay to the left, but this one's a little strange because it sort of looks like this path ends. You can't really see the path uh, visibly, but on your mini-map you still see it. So just make sure to follow it on your mini-map. It's pretty much the only way you can go through the rocks up here, and this will take you directly to the vendor. Okay, and here you'll see the vendor, uh, Lane Ricey, so you're just going to talk to her. Take a look. Alright, so now we're going to be getting the red crystal, so this is going to be found on Karelia. Uh, we're starting at the um, the North Tram in Axial Park for the Republic side. Um, and so this is actually going to take a little while, there's a lot of traveling through buildings and whatnot, so um, prepare for a pretty long travel. So we're going to head across the park, cut, cutting through um, on that dotted path, and then we're going to head up to this little tunnel that goes across into this section just south of the Republic safe zone and then we're going to head down um, through this series of tunnels down into the Coronet Zoo area and then we're going to follow that around and then down into this building here and this is where the red crystal shard is going to be. So once you get out of the park you're going to turn left and head into this set of tunnels right here. So just a quick left and then an immediate right. And once you get out of that tunnel, you're just going to sort of follow the path, make a right onto this curved path, and then make another right down into this set of tunnels towards the Coronet Zoo. Okay, so now we're out of that set of tunnels and we're going to follow the coordinate zoo path around. You can go either direction, doesn't matter. We're just going to go basically uh, straight below us to the south to this tunnel right here. And this is where that crystal is. So here we are at the entrance to the tunnel. So we're just going to head right in and uh, turn to the right. And as you're coming down the ramp, you'll see um, these neutral guys, the bandit, mugger, whatever. Um, so they're kind of hanging out, checking out this box right here. And so inside this box is a sweet skull, a statue, and the artifact. So you're just going to pick this artifact up. Um, it says you don't need to use that right now because I already have it right here. Um, so normally it'll say you received an artifact or something along those lines. Uh, and so now you have the red artifact and you can move to the next step. Alright, so the next uh, piece that we're going to need for the plus 10 Datacron is going to be the uh, blue crystal. So you can find that actually on the Republic fleet. Um, so we're going to be starting here just near the Galactic Trade Market because we're just heading to the Mission Departures Elevator um, that's straight to the east. So once you get in the elevator, you're going to take this to the Interfleet Transport. And once you get down here, you're just going to take this taxi over here. Vehicle pads are and you're going to take him to... Business. You're going to take it to the Gav Daragon shuttle. Have a safe and pleasant stay. Okay, 
Okay, so now that we're on Gab Daragon, we're gonna go to the only elevator, and you're gonna take this up to the bridge deck. Okay, so now that you are on the bridge, uh, some quick glance at the map. So we're starting here on the uh, right at the elevator, and we're going to this other elevator right here. It's not actually marked on the map, but there is an elevator there. So you're just gonna head straight out and turn to the right. And this elevator here will take you to the museum. Okay, so now that we're in the museum, we're just gonna come out here. Looks like somebody else is doing the same thing. Um, so we're actually gonna use this um, little console in front of us to, to jump up on. It's easier if you use your mount. So you're just gonna run and simply jump up. And uh, so it'll probably take you a few times to get it, but it's not too terribly difficult. And then you're just gonna run up the ramp in here. Um, and normally you'd use these weapon controls, um, but somebody already has them open, so we're just going to use his. So that just blows open this door in front of us. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and follow him in through here. And so once you come through these doors, uh, so now we're here on the map. We just came through these, the off the map into these doors. We're just going to head to the left and follow this path all the way around. And then once you come in here, um, you'll have to open that door. It's just a normal click door, and uh, you can just pick up your blue crystal. Um,